Welcome to Porthcawl Harbour. We have come to South Wales for a big day out by the sea. So let's start the show. quite windy here. But it's lovely down by the harbour and it's the first time we've come to Porth Call. Now you might think, why are we here? Well, it's because we saw it on Country File earlier this year and we thought it looked just an absolutely lovely place to visit. The greetings are things. Feed me rubbish to help me on the planet. The planet's a place to live. So there's a little walkway from the harbour down to hopefully over where the lighthouse is. Lots of steps. Have to be careful how we manoeuvre these. And hopefully we will be able to walk the whole way round. There's some tape up here. I don't know what it's there for. Let's see what's round the corner. Oh yep, yeah. more little steps. And we emerge at the other side. And oh wow, look what's over there. You've got a slipway and also the lighthouse. And here is the lighthouse. There are lots of fishermen out today hoping for a catch. We've got the remnants of the Dufferin Yanvi and Porthcawl Railway Company from 1825 to 1860. In the distance, you can see Port Col Beach, and with its sand dunes, it's quite reminiscent of Port Stewart Strand, I think. A very brave person out on the rough waters today. National Coast Watch. This is a magnificent view from Porth Call. Look how rough the seas are. These rocks remind me of the rocks at the Giant's Causeway in Northern Ireland. And someone just asked me, uh, who was just sitting down, do they know what type of aircraft it was? I said, no, do you? <laughs> 
Okay, so now we are approaching the main thoroughfare and the first place we see is B&M. Yes, we're just heading off the Esplanade and we're coming down into the town centre. And Paul, you say there are what, two main shopping streets here, is that right? I think they're parallel. Ah, right. Okay. So it's this one and the one right next to this block. Well, we are on the hunt for a camping kettle. You know, the type of kettle that you put on a gas stove, a singing kettle. Oh. B&M used to sell them, but, but we may don't. not be in luck today, I'm not so sure. We've been in one branch already uh, on our little trip and uh, they didn't have any. Oh, I didn't get a kettle, but I got something else beginning with K. Hey, look, I got a kite. Mm. And you'll probably see that in one of our children's episodes at a later date. I like this police station sign on this building. It probably was the police station of Port Call at one point. Oh, look at the duck. And ducklings too. How sweet. Loads of interesting places such as the spa right here. I reckon this is to signify all the elements of the seaside. So you've got a dolphin, an ice cream con, and a seagull. Well, when you go to the seaside, you have to have an ice cream. It's law. And we have a soft scoop here in Port Call, so we're going to give it a go and see what it's like. Mmm, it's quite nice actually. It's got more of a sort of like icy texture than creamy. Maybe this is just another way for them to make it. Mmm, it's not bad at all though. We've arrived at Corny Beach, the amusement arcade, and I am hoping there is a 2p machine. Remind you of Corny Island? <laughs> this must be a lucky one. Look, there's going to be a huge tumble. I might have to get more money. You want me to get some? Oh, see, look, look at that, look at that. We're just waiting for a huge clatter. I don't know about you, but it is way too hot right now. You need to stay cool, and to be cool, just subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's Paul and Marcus. Earlier, we visited a very windy Port Talbot beach. So let's take a look.
just to prove how windy it actually is. Just to prove how windy my hair is. Look at the sea over there. It's really windy and really, really rough and treacherous, I think. really sandy here. It's really, really, really soft. It's a bit too soft to walk on, so it's just as well that we were able to walk on the harder sand at Port Talbot earlier on. Hey, what? you know something? Um, I would like to ask all of you that haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, it's Paula Marcus, to hit the subscribe button. We really do appreciate your support and your feedback. Yes, indeed we do. So if you enjoyed today's show, please hit that subscribe button. Thank but you very from much. From South Wales, that is it. We will see you next time. See you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.